Hello and welcome to Navigating the Course. So this is one of the first videos you'll view in this course and it's all about navigation. So um, we want to first log into the course in Canvas. Um, yours may look a little bit different. This is a template, um, but it should look pretty much similar. Um, and you'll see the splash page, the home page of the course will give you a little bit about it. We'll give you a little bit about your instructor. And um, there's a bunch of options here. The start here will give you some more information about the course, which, where, which is where you should start. Um, and then the syllabus um, is a good place to visit every once in a while. It has a lot of the policies. Um, it'll show you, um, you know, all different things about the course. But then also if you scroll down, it'll show you the course summary, which is all the due dates in the course, um, which is very, very helpful. Um, the next thing you want to go to is the modules. This is probably where you spend the most of your time. Um, and so the resources in the start here information are, are there. Um, but then you're going to start with the sort of course content. And as you go through, this course content will start to show up more. Um, you need to go through in order. Um, what I like about Canvas is that once you view the content, um, you have to hit mark is done. Um, I wish there was a mark is done on the bottom, but it's at the top. So if you click that, then when you go back to the modules, you'll see that that's mark done and there's a check mark there. And you also know that module zero is not necessarily complete yet because it started, but it's not, there's not a check mark there. Um, you'll need to do these online orientations. Um, and so what I'm going to do is do a couple of um, is jump through here as a student and get back to a different point, but um, um, you'll see you'll do these and then I will rejoin you at a later date, later time in the course and show you what that looks like. Okay, so now I've gotten down to a um, discussion board and so I am going to go to this discussion board. And the weird part about a discussion board is you're going to have rubrics for a lot of things in your class. The discussion board rubrics can be seen by clicking there and clicking show rubric, and then you can see how you're going to be graded. So that's an important aspect. A lot of times with other assignments, and you'll see that in a second, the rubrics are, um, are right down below, but this one's a little bit different. Um, and so this is the a discussion board. You would just hit reply and type in your reply to the discussion. Um, and follow the directions for all of those. And those are for discussion board assignments. Um, and then the next one I want to show you is um, another way to hand in assignments is to submit um, to submit an assignment like this. You can see this is the rubric down below that you'll be graded in. Um, and so we're just going to go to submit assignment here. Um, I'm going to choose do a sample resume there. And I'm going to submit. I can put any comments there if I want to. And then you'll get a little animation and you'll get submitted. Um, you can download your submission right here. You can see your submission details. Um, but what I'm going to do is now pause it and give feedback on this assignment and then show you how to view the, um, the feedback. Okay, so when you log into the course and I've graded something, you can go ahead and click on grades here. And you can see the little one, which means you haven't viewed one of your grades. Just give it a second to load. Or more than a second. So the things that are graded that are like self-graded, you can see are probably these, um, or that need to be graded are the blue bubbles here. But there's other feedback um, that you can see that I've graded on this one. So this was the one I just, um, I actually got a um, sample resume template from, from Word and just used that. So there's a lot of different ways to see feedback and that's one reason um, I wanted to make this video. So the first thing is to show the rubric. So the rubric will have sort of why I gave you the grade you got and any comments. So these are rubric comments typed by me and these are the original text in the rubric itself. Um, and you can see what areas um, in the rubric um, I gave you. Um, so each of these orange or green or red marks are um, the feedback on the assignment. And then again, more comments. Um, 
and then so that's you know sort of how to, to show the rubric um, and then this is just if I had a general comment to you in the assignment um, I would have would put it here and you can write a comment back to me I'll get an email right away to see that too um, and then the other way you can view feedback though is on the document itself so sometimes I leave feedback on the document itself so um, these these are examples of different types of feedbacks this is a highlight which is this highlighted and then there's a strike through down here and then a little um, pinned thing and they're they're relatively easy to see what's going on there um, and then the other feedback you can see is um, via Turnitin so obviously this was a word template um, that I used and you have to agree to this um, so it should show up that I, I um, I plagiarized it um, and you can see the overall similarity is a 100 right so you can see right away um, what um, what your Turnitin score is and whatnot so um, so that is the the only last thing I want to show you about is I want to show you how to create a discussion so if you have a general class question there's a lot of discussion boards that are um, that are up here, but um, that'll be up here for assignments once you go through there. But if you want to add a discussion sometimes too, like let's say you had a question on um, the computer selection homework assignment question, and then maybe you um, typed your question here. I'm not going to type anything, um, but I want you to make sure that this is the way you're asking general questions in the course because then other students can see it and can, um, can comment on it and give you feedback. Um, and I will do that as well. And then if you have questions some, that have already been answered, you'll see this here, where as an email to me, if I answer it, you won't be able to see that. Um, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you got some tips about how to navigate Canvas here. And um, I will see you later in the course.